This video will walk you through testing the motion matching locomotion controller. We're going to start by opening up the demo package, which can be found in plugins, 3Pete, MMC Locomotion, demos. And if you have, depending on what you have installed, whether it's Final IK, Strider, or both, you'll select the appropriate core package based on that. I'm going to pick both since I have them both installed. There's a demo environment, a character, and a Cinemachine controller and brain for the camera. We include the Cinemachine camera and brain just to help out prototyping, testing, and, and using our asset, but it's by no means a production controller. So if we go to, so here's the free look controller. Um, feel free to replace it with a, a better camera as you like. And in the player character, you have the main object, which has the character controller, the controller wrapper for MXM, as well as the NG player controller. And then in the model object that contains the animator, you've got everything for Strider, Final IK, and MXM. All of the other components are there. So make sure there are no errors, and then hit play. And you can use the arrow keys to run around or the left thumbstick of your joystick if you have that set up. If you don't have your th a joystick set up, don't worry about it. We'll, uh, we'll configure that in a minute. Hold down left shift to sprint. And I'm gonna run up these stairs just to make sure final IK is working. And yep, his feet go onto the stairs as you would expect. Crouch is control, left control. And that's a toggle, whereas shift, you have to hold it down to keep sprinting. Jumping is spacebar, so if you tap it, it's gonna do a small jump, and if you hold it, it's gonna do a big jump. And so I do the, just confirm that my hard landings are working properly. And now you're ready to start customizing the controller.